NFL Week 10 NFL picks. I said NFL twice. I don't give a damn. Last week, let's see what our record was, bro. We went 11 and 4. Missed a few games, but I think we're going to do a lot better this week. I'm thinking at least 12 and 2. At worst, we go 12 and 2 this week because we're cooking 90 and 48 overall. Um, yeah, I got my afro out. You feel me? I've been picking my hair and whatnot. You feel me? Chat, come on now, man. It's uh, Fro Froze. J Froze. You feel me? Like Fro. Like Jacob. Like Fro. Afro. Froze. Rose. Last name Rose. Yeah, y'all got it. Anyway, that's all besides the point, bro. Let's get into the picks. That's why y'all are here watching this video right now, and I appreciate you. First up, Bengals. Ravens in Baltimore. The Ravens. Coming off a good win against the Broncos. The Bengals coming off an absolute blowout of the Raiders. Um, the Bengals need this game, bro. The Bengals do need this game. But I'm still taking the Ravens, man. I think they want this game even more than the Bengals want it. Um, but the Bengals do got to win a lot of games to even sniff the playoffs. Because if they lose this, they probably got to win six of the next seven games uh, to finish out the season. Um, but if you could take the Bengals like plus eight, I would take Bengals plus eight for sure. But that's y'all if y'all gambling. I don't, I don't, I don't know if y'all be making bets or stuff. Me, I don't make bets. I just like see them and I just be like, oh yeah, maybe that might hit. Type, type, type shit, type shit. Um, the battle of ass, Giants, Panthers in Germany. Uh, I'm not really sure who's gonna wake up to actually watch this game, especially if you live on the West Coast, because that game will be on like 6:30 a.m. Me, personally, I'm not waking up for it. Have I woken up for games over there before? Of course. But Giants-Panthers, bro, honestly, bro, everybody's saying Daniel Jones is Hitler, which is kind of crazy, like he's going home. That's actually nutty. I'm taking Bryce Young and the Panthers, bro. I think the Giants are throwing their season in the trash. I um, think they're getting ready to get a pick. Um, they're going to do anything they can to lose this game because they're going to draft Shader or Cam Ward or... Carson Beck's goofy looking ass, or people are saying Drew Aller's gonna get drafted. I don't think he's that good, but we'll see. Uh, the Patriots at the Bears. I think the Bears get a big win back at home. They can't win on the road, but they can win at home. And the Patriots aren't that good. Drake May, um, he looks like he could be decent right now. It's gonna be tough for him to be decent, but maybe soon he'll be okay. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna take the Bears with the with a pretty easy win. I think they win by two touchdowns at least, like double digit W. Should be green. The Buffalo Bills and the Indianapolis Colts. Now, man, I really wish Anthony Richardson was playing, bro, but, like, they just have no faith in him as a quarterback, if I'm going to be honest. So it's like, I got to take the Bills, man. Josh Allen's looking like an MVP. Um, James Cook is good. Amari Cooper's probably playing in this game. And then the other two, Ke Keon Coleman and Shakir, looking like solid two and three receivers. Um, So they're going to get a lot of looks with Amari Cooper in the lineup. And they got two pretty good tight ends, so... I like the Bills this season. Um, I think them and the Ravens are the biggest threat to the Chiefs. I was thinking the Chiefs, I mean, I was thinking the Texans might be a threat, but I'm really not seeing it anymore. So we're going to go Bills right here. This game, Broncos at the Chiefs. I don't think the Broncos get blown out like they did against the Ravens. I think their defense keeps them in this game. Uh, they probably picked Mahomes off once. Pat Sertan probably. A guard and D-hop maybe. We'll see. Um, but, yeah, I don't know how the Chiefs are 8-0, bro. It still doesn't make sense. They're going to lose eventually. They'll probably lose to the Panthers or something, like something super random. Uh, but I'm going to take the Chiefs to go 9-0 and in this game. And, yeah, just uh, keep that keep that rolling. Falcons at Saints. I've seen a lot of people taking the Saints at home, which is crazy. But, like, this would be a game they win because Kirk Cousins is playing, like, He's just going to, everybody's going to bet Saints and they're going to, I mean, everybody's going to bet the Falcons because they should beat the Saints, but the Saints might come out on top, but not me. I'm still taking the Falcons, bro. I was telling y'all how good the Falcons are at the start of the season. I'm going to tell y'all that the Falcons are still good uh, half more than halfway through the season. Um, so, yeah, I don't believe in the Saints, bro. Olave might not play. I'm like, who is he really throwing to other than Kamar, bro? Bub Means. Like, no disrespect to him. I just really don't know who that is, bro. I know his name, of course, because I'm a football savant. But that's besides the point. San Fran at the Tampa Bay Bucks. The Bucks put up points, um, but they're not better than the 49ers. Christian McCaffrey could potentially play this week. Who knows? It doesn't really matter who's running the football for them. They're going to figure out how to run the ball pretty well. I'm going to take the Niners. This game, probably the game of the week, based off what I've seen so far. Maybe the Saturday night game could be game of the week. I think it's Texans-Detroit. But the Steelers at Commanders, bro. All right, hear me out. Hear me out, bro. Steelers at Commanders. Like, Commanders look good. 
but they haven't played anybody good. Steelers look good. They really haven't played anybody good either. So I think the team that wins this is going to tell me, like, okay, this team's legit this season. Like, actually legit. Yeah, they're both 6-2, and 7-2. and two. But I think two teams that have beat, you know, subpar teams all season um, actually play each other, and the winner of this game should determine if, you know, one of them's actually good or if they're both just some regular season teams. And I think the Steelers go into Washington and get the dub, bro. Um, yeah, I'm an Eagles fan. Do I want the Commanders to lose? It doesn't really matter. Like, I'm, I only hate the Cowboys. Like, the Commanders and the Giants are cool. But I think the Steelers go in there and get the dub. Russell Wilson um, might have one of his iconic Russell Wilson games. Jaden Daniels is great, but I don't think, I don't know. They got to lose at some point, right? And if they don't, then Jay Daniels is just the GOAT. But I think they lose at some point, and I think the Steelers go into Washington and get the WMB 7-2. and two. But Vikings at Jags. The Jags almost beat my Eagles last week because Nick Sirianni, I don't know what's wrong with bro. Ah, bro just don't know how to coach football for real. He's uh, a little crazy. Uh, Sam Darn has Justin Jefferson. We take Justin Jefferson every single time um, in this matchup. Jags secondary is not good. They got torched by Devontae Smith. And freaking Jahan Dotson. Uh, so, yeah. Now we get to the Titans and the Chargers. We get the 1 p.m. matchups, baby. Woo! Or 4 p.m. if you watch on the East Coast. Type, type, type. Midwest, if you watch it, 3 p.m. games. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, I'm taking the Chargers, bro. Chargers look good. These teams are very similar. One just has a way better quarterback. Literally, that's the difference between these two teams. One has a great quarterback. The other has a bad quarterback. Because so I think their defenses are pretty equivalent. Um... The O-lines are decent. They both have young O-lines for the most part. And then they have, like, these okay weapons. I think the Titans probably have better offensive weapons on the outside for sure than the Chargers do, even though Lab McConkey looks like a dog. But I'm taking the Chargers. Um, they should win that game pretty comfortably. Next, we get the Eagles going into Dallas. Dak Prescott's not playing. CeeDee Lamb might be hurt. Cooper Rush is 5-1 and one as a starter for the Cowboys, but his one loss is against the Eagles, and the Eagles are fully healthy playing against this Cowboys team for the most part. Um, so I think the Eagles come away with this game easily. But you never know with uh, Nick Sirianni coaching, bro. Anything is possible to happen, if I'm going to be honest. like Anything could freaking happen, bro. Literally. Jets, Cardinals, tough game. Cardinals are at home. They look good. But I'm not going to lie. I'm on the Jets train, bro. After that game against the Texans, I think it's going to start clicking. And I think Aaron Rodgers goes into Arizona and gets a dub. Trump just got named president. He probably voted for Trump. <coughs> excuse me, so I think he's going to go out there and play crazy, I should have actually said, in this Niners game, where the Niners game at, the Niners game, Nick Bosa is going to have like four sacks, bro, he's going to have four sacks on Baker, he's lu they lucky he's not playing a black quarterback this week, bro, if Nick Bosa was playing a black quarterback this week, man, he might have eight sacks, bro, no cap, but right here, Saturday night football, we get the Detroit Lions against the Houston Texans, Hey, man, I like the Texans. I like C.J. Stroud, uh, but no Nico Collins, no Stephon Diggs. They just don't have enough offense to compete with this high-flying offense of the Detroit Lions. And their defense has been playing pretty well lately. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. And now Sunday Night Football, this game is supposed to be a huge matchup going into the year. Veterans Day on 11-11. Your boy will be in attendance. I will be at this game. So if that means anything to y'all, but I'm taking the Rams at home, bro, uh, to get the W. The Dolphins... After they lose this game, their season's over. They should just rest everybody. But, yeah, the Dolphins, I don't know. They've had two of the last two weeks, and they still lost the Cardinals and the Bills. Two very winnable games, too. Like, they lost both those games on a game-winning field goal. Um, I could see them losing this game on a game-winning field goal. But Koopa's, Koopa, Koopa, Cooper Cup and Puka Nakua are playing. Kyron Williams looks good. Even De uh, Demarius Robinson, Demarcus Robinson looks good. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take that. And my score prediction, I think it's gonna be a high, high scoring game. We're gonna 57 points in that. <laughs> yeah, so this is my picks. Let's go ahead and run through them again real quick before I log off. Ravens at home, Panthers at home, Bears on, at home, Bills on the road, Chiefs at home, Falcons, Bucks. No, not Bucks. 49ers, Steelers, Vikings, Chargers, Eagles, Jets, Lions, Rams. If anybody out here actually made it, to the nine minute mark of this video and you guys are like oh let me see his picks and if somebody puts a bet and uses all 14 of my bets and they win i'll double it i'll double it if i go undefeated this week come on now man just send me that slip man but yeah that's the video bro i hope y'all enjoyed it we got our week 10 picks stay tuned for next week's picks and we out of here baby yes sir ski.